Last week, President Trump reported that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention now recommends that people wear cloth or fabric face coverings when entering public spaces, such as grocery stores and transit stations. It is mainly to prevent those individuals who have the virus and might not know it from spreading the infection to others. On April 15th, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that he will sign an executive order that requires everyone in his state to wear a mask or mouth and nose covering in public when not social distancing. While more widespread use of masks may help flatten the curve of COVID-19, it may also have the unintended consequence of making communication more difficult, particularly if you already have a hearing loss. A recent study published in the May 2020 issue of Hearing Review by authors Golden, Weinstein, and Scheiman suggests that medical grade face masks like the N95 that I'm wearing here may reduce high frequency sounds like shh, f, and th that are so critical to speech understanding by up to 12 decibels, which corresponds to them sounding about half as loud as they would without the mask. Practically speaking, this means that the reduced audibility of speech in combination with background noise that's often present, reverberation, and the absence of visual cues necessary for lip reading will potentially render speech close to unintelligible for many individuals with hearing loss. What can you do about it? If you are wearing a mask to protect your health and the health of others, please keep these tips in mind when communicating with other individuals. Do speak more slowly and a little louder than usual. Also, obtain the person's attention by saying their name prior to speaking with them. We're genetically programmed no matter where we are, even if we're concentrating on something, we hear our name, we break attention on that and focus attention on the person that has said our name. That will prevent you from speaking and having that person miss the first part of what is said. Also, reduce background noise as much as possible and simply ensure that those with hearing loss, if they have hearing aids, are actually wearing them. And then finally, rephrase remarks if they don't understand you. Don't simply repeat the same words, but rephrase to see if maybe just a different combination of words helps make you more intelligible. Now, a couple of don'ts. Don't shout or overemphasize or exaggerate your words. And don't speak to the person while you're walking side by side. Try to stop and face them so that they can pick up visual cues that might help them understand you better. Finally, if the person you're speaking to is still struggling to communicate, encourage them to test their hearing. There are numerous online hearing tests available that can be done in the convenience and comfort of their own home, including those at www.starkey.com or via Starkey's free SoundCheck app, which can help identify whether they might be a hearing aid candidate when we get on the other side of this pandemic, which we will eventually do. Hearing is essential to communication and social distancing shouldn't automatically translate to social isolation. Better hearing is better living. We're all in this together and Starkey is here to help. Thanks very much and be safe.